I'm okay, thank you. So okay. you're an ex-Muslim? Um, do you know what? I've been watching your um your videos and okay. it's really opened my eyes. Well, it's opened my eyes and opened my my ears. And what really got me is when I didn't know because I can you hear me? I hear you. Don't worry. Yeah. Um, I I was brought up to be a Muslim, but I used to question my parents. Um about my about the religion and they always said to me that don't ask too much questions because Allah's not going to like it okay so and when they when they used to say that and I used to question my child like you know like um certain things that I I didn't particularly like you know um, from from what I've seen and um it just, it just, it just, it just kind of opened my eyes because my father was originally, um, he was Hindu, and then he had to um, convert to Islam because they were killing a lot of the the, the Hindus, and because my, my father's from um, from East India, um, so they converted to, um, uh, he had to convert to Islam, and it, it's never really sat with me, so. Um, by listening to your videos, I mean, like, obviously, I mean, like, what I've noticed that, you know, you, you did a, you did one with, uh, what's his name, Mohammed? What's his name, Mohammed? Uh, uh, the one in YouTube? Yeah, YouTube. Um, uh, Mimi Hijab, Mimi Hijab. Yeah, that's it. He, um, he, I didn't like the way he um, disrespected you because, like, you were trying to get your point and all he kept doing is muting you. Uh, but I've noticed that that a lot of the Muslim ones in the UK they love they love to um, debate um, and not actually listen to the questions or the answers. Mm. So and it made me just think, hold a minute, something don't sit with me, and like what what the prophet's done, and you know, and and the women still allow to be treated like that. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah. So, what is the major uh, reason make you leave Islam? If, and he is a trashy person. Is that he like he is the real reason? You you know you thought because, he is because, because I I never knew that Muhammad actually married a nine years old girl. Six years old. I mean, sorry, six years old. Yeah. yeah and then you know, then he you know actual you know, but it's disgusting. Why didn't he? Why didn't he uh, um, adopt her? You know, as a, as a child, like you know, he was fifty what something, and uh, why didn't he just adopt her? Yeah, well, uh, why he would not adopt her? She have a parents anyway. <laughs> I mean, she's not an orphan. Yeah, I heard I heard once a Muslim saying, Muhammad he married her because she was an orphan. But the this, this earth he forgot that Abu Bakr he became a Khalifa after Muhammad he died. Her father he became a Caliphate. So how how she is an adopt? Or she is a or orphan, you know. Most of them they come with false excuses, uh, but there is way more important things than just uh, uh, marrying a child. Uh, most of them they can give it excuse as they wish. But uh, stupid grammar, even the Arabic is horrible. Uh, fiction stories, flying carpets. Uh, uh, you know, Suleiman he have a divers who they are genies. They dive to get him diamond. Uh, you know, Suleiman, uh, he have a goat, uh, they are wives, they call them goat. So the Quran is a messed up book. It's not only reason because he have a wife, she is six years old. You know, this is, See, this is one of many things. Yeah, yeah, cause, and it's also very misleading because it said Muhammad had four wives. But then if you, like, cause I tell you something, you've opened my eyes so much, like, even my partner, he's Christian, and like I, he didn't open my eyes. You opened my eyes because I watched something from one of these guys who was debating was an Islamic guy, and somebody mentioned your name. So from there, I started watching it, and even my partner seen it. And I never knew that Muhammad, dirty Randy man, had had thirteen wives. And and wow, that just wow. When when the first time you saw a video of mine. 
Okay, so somebody sent a link from some guy in in in, in the UK who's a he converted to Islam. He was an atheist, and then he converted straight to Islam. He was a white guy. He's converted to Islam, mm. and then um, he was debating. I can't remember his name is now actually. And um, uh, somebody mentioned uh, your name, mm. like a, and I went to the link, and I thought interesting. So I started watching it, and I spent a couple of days watching it. I started watching it since Thursday. Um, and I've been watching it, and uh, oh, this I learned a, a lot. It's just a few days ago. A few days ago, but I spent I spent a long time mm. watching your videos, and I watch it every time I get a chance. I listen to your videos. All right. So, well, I'm happy that yes. you decide to leave us now. But uh, do you want? Do you, did you accept like what is your religion now? Do you accept Jesus or what? I accept Jesus. Okay. Is a definite. Yeah, yeah, but you, you mentioned to me something about you have a partner. Yeah, he's Christian. He's Christian. Okay, but you know, as a as a Christian, when you say partner, do you mean a person he lives with you in the house, or just a, a business partner or a boyfriend? No, he's my business partner. He's my boyfriend. Yeah, but as a Christian, you cannot do that. As a Christian, either you marry the man and he marry you, or yeah, you cannot have such a relationship. So we cannot say we become a Christians and instead we are doing and practicing what is not Christian. You know. Because this is wrong, you know it's wrong. So yeah. if he really, yeah. if he really love you, he will marry you. Let, you know. Yeah. If a man yeah, he marry a woman, he will marry her. He will not just uh, sleep with her. Okay. Yeah. So basically, is that I I'm I'm learning about uh, I'm finding my path. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I'm learning and and like I said, I'm learning from from you. Um, yeah, I understand. You are new. You know, you just you said you accepted Jesus. But this is the right yeah. way to live our life, you know, because uh, uh, when a man, you know, all men agree to sleep with women, all men, you know, mm. but a real man is the man who marry you, not the man who agree to sleep with you, the one you like, the one you want to be with. Otherwise, all men, yeah. you know, they are ready right away when they see a woman, she is beautiful, they go with her, why not? But a real man who really love you, he will seek you mm. in marriage, not in boyfriend, girlfriend. Boyfriend, girlfriend, there's nothing. It's just a boyfriend. He can take his bag, bye bye. There's nothing, you know. It's just a, mm. a, a company which is, you know, far away from Christianity. So when I say I become a Christian, I know that I'm coming from different belief and I have some maybe tradition or things which is not right, that I used to do. But either I'm a Christian for real or I'm not. Yeah, I'm sorry. So it might be from... hard on you, I understand, but there's no middle way. Mm. Okay, but that's good because I'm learning from from you and something that I need to pass on as well. So, yeah. do you read the Bible? Thanks. Did you start reading the Bible or not? Not. No, I'm, like I said, I'm I'm been looking into by just listening to what you right. okay. have been saying, right. but I I say that. I yeah, would, well, I, I advise change. you to read the Bible in the same time. Uh, mm -hmm. You know what I'm telling you. I'm not trying to put you down, like in your relationship. No, no. I'm just giving you advice mm -hmm. that okay. don't waste your life with men who they accept to be with you, but not to marry you. Okay. You know. I respect that. Yeah, because yeah. because uh, no, and this is uh, if uh, if we talk about the Bible, this is the only way we can do things in the right way. But okay. I know. I mean, okay. that's your life. It's your choice. Uh, but my advice to you. That uh, you know, uh, if if a woman or a man, he keep changing women every day, every day, and then what is the what is the what is the end of it? What what's happening? From like hundred percent, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be careful, and I advise you to read the Bible. And I'm happy that you decide to leave Islam, but you need to be, uh, you know, firm in your belief and do what your belief says to you. We cannot say I yeah. accept Jesus, but I don't want to follow the teaching of Jesus. Yeah. Otherwise, I did not accept anything. I have to follow in order to be considered accepted. Yes. You know, Jesus is not an icon. As a picture, we follow the picture. No, he is a teaching. He is the word. He is uh, uh, the wisdom. So whatever he said, either we agree with it or we don't. If we don't, then we are not Christians. Okay. All right. Okay. I read the Bible and All right. so I can. More. Well, thank you for calling, uh, and uh, I pray for you that you will study more and learn more, and uh, yeah. be be you know uh, be happy in your life in the future.
Thank you for your advice. All right. And I will take it. All right. Take Thank care. You. God bless you. Bye now. All right, we have a Muslim. Let us call him. 